Alright guys, so as I promised, I didn't want to overshadow Dell and his my big thank you to him for his beautiful blanks because what's about to come is gonna it's really big news for me and I know I at least I hope that a lot of you guys will be excited about it too. Now it's funny because I just yesterday got my tonic which I was super stoked about and it just so happened that today I picked up my blanks, my water jet stuff. Let me show you what I've been working on lately. So I designed, actually my girl, oddly enough, my girl asked me, how about you make a kitchen knife? I know a lot of you guys asked before, and uh, you know, it's like s too many people, uh, everybody wants something else, so it's kind of hard, but you know, when, when your better half asks you about making her a knife, you gotta do it. So I did this, uh, kind of my, I would say it's kind of my take on uh, Santo Santoku. I'm not the I'm not experienced kitchen guy, you know. I don't know, I'm not a cook or anything. I just took a couple different designs that uh, I had uh, some ideas, and I still wanted to make it somewhat kind of signature. I don't know. To me, it still has you know that the handle, like kind of my handle, also that kind of almost like a reverse stunt of thing. It it's different. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as go its signature look to it really, but. It just I wanted to do my take on it, so that's that's that. I have four of those, and uh, that's actually CPMS 35VN. I had a great experience with it in the past with Peter's heat treat. Got that. Got a bunch of these. Actually, did the little slightly different version of uh, of Kiridashi. I just figured out I can do actually even bigger blade on the kind of same handle, so I kind of broaden up the blade a little bit. That was gonna be pretty cool. So I have a couple of those from the same steel. The because of the blades, the kitchen knives are so big. I actually have more than I thought that I would have of these kiridashis. But that's that's good. They're always handy to have people like this once in a while to do the. I'm not. I don't enjoy making them, but once in a while it's cool to do the small, cheaper, cheaper blades. So that's that, and. Uh, where are my blinks? The big news, the really big news. Some of you know that I've been working on. I designed the frame lock, so the frame lock blinks are here. They are freaking awesome. I'm super excited. Some of you will probably be surprised that it is so small. Original idea was to be just like my EDC fixed blade, you know, just like my fixed blade. That's you know pretty much the same thing. I'll leave this here so you guys see. You see some supplies I got actually also from uh, Alpha, Knife, uh, Alpha Knife Supply. Some new things, cool new things. And uh, here's the frame lock when when I just screw it all together as it comes from the water jet. So you see, you know, it's actually pretty cool. I have the extra spare steel on the tank where the locking thing will be. So that's sticking out, that actually gets ground off. Uh, the pocket clip is like that, but that gets actually hand scoped right into the actual pocket clip and there is a second screw going from the inside through, you know, right between the hole and the screw. That kind of prevents it from flopping, you know, turning on its on itself. It's, I do like this a lot, you know. It's not fitted, so when you, when you just screw it together, it has a different angle on the blade and handle because this the thumb studs are actually getting little grooves in the front of the handle that opens up the blade a little more and then this little finger chole gets also slightly larger because when, when I clean the water jet marks and everything it, it becomes slightly larger so it closes just a slightly little more you know putting the tip closer to it but the tip gets also changed it will change after it comes back from heat treat but that's the brick you know this is the brick where I started with you know, when uh, you know from from Waterjet. I actually did do one today, which that is the reason why I'm so stoked and so excited. And uh, it's a big one. I I was very afraid of you know getting into the folders and doing it, but guys, so what do we have here? Titanium frame. These frames are I think you remember it is 0.15 of an inch. It's about 0.16 S35VN steel, not heated yet yet. And uh, look at that pocket clip, the way I shaped it, it's really, really cool. Nice tension, nice and easy in and out of pocket, nice and low profile and it's kind of like tapered and rounded, everything is completely rounded. Everything on the whole knife is completely rounded, inside, outside, which is pretty cool. 
so I did do <laughs> what Tough Times told me not to do I did do pretty much everything uh, be, uh, except the grind he told me no don't fit the lock phase in don't do the uh, D10 ball but I just had to I had to see if I can pull it off I can make it together and I know it will work even after the heat you know it might be a little wobbly or something but it, it shouldn't actually it should be fine it might probably the lock face will wear in a little, little deeper uh, but this is gonna be mine so you see that rock pattern with the golden blue my colors I like it <laughs> and uh, check it out the d is very strong but I can still effortlessly flick it open right now it engages just a little bit I actually will probably change the angle of the lock face a little bit I think it's a little too steep but so what we have here uh, rounded you know finger troll nicely contoured from the outside but also from the inside if you if you prefer you know closing the knife this way that you <laughs> Jeff calls it clawed in then uh, it's a standoff in the back with the 3 16th pivot that goes all the way to the pocket clip you see that design there that's pretty nice you know nice and wide stand bushing actually it's called bushing it's kind of like a standoff but it's bushing so that holds that back apart then you have also quarter inch bushing heat treated around your stopping around your 3 16th pivot and the stopping which is nice because that's replaceable you know if this wears out over time you can just replace the bushing and the pivot stays and then 3 sixteenths uh, pivot and this one actually I don't know what I'm gonna do over like on the other ones but this one I did there is a quarter inch bushing in the blade and the handles have the 3 sixteenths hole and the way what it does is kinda like paramilitary bushing you know when you can you can actually tighten this pretty tight and the blade still swivels it, it gets tighter but it still swivels because the the bushing actually is wider than the blade so you know when you tighten the scales it actually rests it's supposed to rest on the bushing before it rests on the blade completely so there it is my little EDC I love how it came out you know like this comes completely like one curve one line then it turns to the blade you know even in the close position I think it looks really good nice large thumb start and then in the open position you know just like my EDC I with my, me with my small hand I have a full grip on it you know nice full grip and I also can actually even choke up on it you know that that finger now imagine that this will have some kind of recast so like a small little sharpening notch most likely so I can actually probably even use this as a choke up grip once everything is finished it should be still safe you know to have the finger here on the on the choker but I'll see the, what kind of grinds I will do but it theoretically it should be fine we'll see but I'm super excited about this guys it's like it's one of the big dreams come true uh, at least you know it starts coming true and it works perfectly it, the nice thing about it is that when I disengage this this really is nice and smooth without any play you know side to side there is no side to side so that means that I probably did drill the holes and everything nice and square with really good tolerances that's what I was really scared of actually picked up a brand new drill for it drill press just so I can do this you know nice here because my old one is really wobbly and crappy so the new one is a little more sturdy and better the d is really strong now uh, look at that look how it sucks in that blade <laughs> really sucks it in so that's why it's actually it does need a little practice of how to flick it but you see <laughs> the way it flies open it's pretty cool it's not it's not painful actually at all I, I did have a hard time to begin with but I think I just worn in the D10 you know the I wrote uh, you know wore out the little ramp on the D10 and now it's getting better and better but I do like it a lot and yeah we'll see hopefully it will it should work out even when it, when it comes back from the heat treat and I'm thinking the logo will go you know like right here next to the I'm thinking to stamp the logo right here where the green dot is so you will I will see it 
in the open and cross position you know just like that i think that's gonna be good and then most likely the grind you know kind of like on little angle like that you know we'll see should be should be good should be good excited excited and uh once i get better at this you know when i when i when they come back from the heat region i will do more and i will see that okay i'm good at this i can do them no problem i have a special thing after that which <laughs> i had to buy this because i've never seen a better nicer one than this check that out how insane is that that is I bought it because that is the most beautiful pattern in Timascus I've ever seen and they had a nice big piece that was pretty much the I, perfect thickness for what I want on those scales it's right under one eighth of an inch this was what was I think 0.1 uh, 0.118 so right under one eighth of an inch uh, that's what I actually originally wanted uh, one eighth of an inch titanium scales on this I just happened to use thicker one on the first run but this should make up for perfect show side scale on these so once I get better at it there's gonna be a couple that will have this Tamascus on it which is pretty awesome yeah it's not very cheap either I, I had to go buy it because I you know Tamascus not every time I like the patterns the patterns itself so once I see this I said I have to even though I'm not gonna use it probably for you know two months most likely I had to buy it to to secure it for the future uh, news another news there will be actually I already have a cut design of this exact exact knife but friction for the friction version of this exact knife which I'm also very excited about because they should be pretty neat pretty neat design and being friction folder you know for all the UK guys or, or Australian guys and a lot of other countries that don't allow you know locking blades so uh, and it's gonna be pretty cool to have two identical knives but one will be regular frame lock and one titanium friction folder I think it's gonna be pretty neat so guys let me know what you think hope you enjoyed it hope you like it uh, again, like again like with everything don't ask me about you know what when how much how to order we'll see we'll see down the road you know down the road we'll see when I will get them back from the heat read once I move how I set up the shop you know We'll see. We'll just keep it, you know, keep updated with the, with the videos. It's gonna be all in the videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for all the support. You know, all this, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for you and your support and, you know, you enjoying my nice. So I really appreciate you guys. Thanks. Take care. Stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.